Good morning. It's Laura from Craft and See with Laura B. Once again, messing with my camera angle and everything. Because once I start recording, it changes. So I'm kind of bringing you up. I'm trying. Sorry, hang on. Okay, I think, I think I'm better. I hope. Okay. So it's Laura again. Hi. So today, I'm going to move this. So today we are starting our first video in the hashtag I hit a wall journal swap between me and Mitzi at Mitzi at 307 Junk Journals. Um, what we did is she sent me um, uh, some signatures and uh, Jane Austen papers for a journal that she started and couldn't figure out where she wanted to go. And I had a flippy flappy envelope and Jamie B. Journal's London Town papers. And I loved it so much, the papers. I just absolutely think they're gorgeous and I just couldn't do anything else with it. I literally got it all put together and all the flippy flappies and the pockets and the magnets and all of that and I just stared at it. And I couldn't do anything with it. So I sent her pictures, she got some ideas ruminating in her head, and so we did a swap. It's kind of all a Barbara at 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel, at Louisa Heinzel, um, they did a swap. Uh, they've been friends for quite a while, and so they each made themselves a journal, sent it to each other, then they filled out the journals and sent them back, and that's kind of what we're doing here. Um, where I got the idea. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Barbara and Louisa. Lots of hugs. What is? Lots of hugs and kisses. I think is how I'm trying to do Candace Johnson, and I just can't do it. So I thank you. I won't even try. Oh, and sorry about this. Um, I s was trying to uh, hammer in the lid on a paint can and hammered my thumb. Yeah, and I heal slow. So, it's not as bad as it looks. It doesn't hurt, but you know, it's bad. Anyway, so, <clears throat> I have been sick. May not sound it. Hopefully not. But I ended up getting sick on Wednesday. So, um, I decided to go ahead and do continue crafting on this journal and not take you along with me with the entire process. So, this is what I've done so far. Let me make sure I'm in focus. And I'm a little bit upset because I was watching Misty, Mi Misty, Mitzi, and I need to film. So, and no matter what I do, I cannot get this and the camera to make, to be even and not crooked and wonky. And no matter what I do, it just winds up crooked and wonky. So anyway, okay. <clears throat> so, this is the journal so far. Here's the front cover, the spine, with some of that lace that I got and I sent to Mitzi, sent her a little snippet, and here's the back. Now, I'm in love with this, I just can't say enough about this. Um, I just, I took a, this is a book cover, I took a book cover <clears throat> and I painted it, I dry brushed paint, uh, the, the chiffon paint, and I swore to you, I, I started this, and I can't find, I cannot find the video, so hang on. Let me get my paint. So what I did, I know I did this, I remember talking about this. I took the rust -Oleum, dry brushed it, went over it again, with this antique, or excuse me, vintage tea rose from Focal Art. And then the highlights. I did, again, Folk Art in metallic rose gold, which is like my obsession. I think I'm going to sneeze, so I'm going to pause you for a moment. And I'm back. Sorry about that. It was a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, or expected it to be, and not that you knew it was a split second. Anyway, I had to go up and get my dog Isabeau's blankets out of the, gar the garage, out of the dryer. And then get uh, some cough drops, because, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, 
So here we are. So what I did is I took a book. I took those three paints as I showed you. I'm recapping for myself, by the way. Where was I? And I just love it. Oh my gosh, I just love it. And this is chipboard because the spine of the book was only about like that. Um, but yes, chipboard here, book cover here. You can see some of the book cover coming through. Um, and then I backed, took some paper that I have, some digitals. I believe this is by G. Kerr. Let me write this down so that I know who I need to more than likely link to. I, I, I'm going to have to double check because I don't know who this is. These are the papers that she sent me. This is some of that uh, trim that I sent to Mitzi as well. Got it off of the Amazon and I heart that so much. I think it's so pretty. Made pockets. Here are the signatures she sent. This one I have finished with all the pockets that um like junk mail envelope pockets is what I'm trying to say. This one I have them in here. I just have not done anything with them. We will do those later. So here is the back cover. Another pocket. Um these pull this out. Where is this one? There you are. There you are. I did this Midori style in the way that um, Mitzi does for a lot of hers. She says that it apparently it's the traditional way where you you got two loops. It was very easy to do. She showed it to me, and once I the the first time I did it, I did the same thing she did when she showed it to me and was saying, "Oh no, no, no!" I get got confused. But once you do it, it's very easy. She showed me this uh, wallet that she uses that she bought that was in the traditional Midori. I think I'm getting this right. If I'm wrong, please correct me, Mitzi. But anyway, they had finished this off with it so you didn't see the ends. And this is as good as I could do. So, I hope that's... Let me make sure that's focusing. Sorry if it looks wonky. Anyway, so I just put... Little spacer, bead, spacer, bead. Lots of glue. Lots of uh, Fabri-Tac. Or Beacon 3-in-1. And then put a grommet, eyelet, whatever these are called. Again, another spacer. I'm only twisting this because I made it so it had plenty of growth space. But then it's not, it's not set in stone in here, so if you need to replace that part, you can. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, I added another chipboard here because I wanted to hide the elastic strings. And let me tell you, now this you can tell when you look at it. It's not real wood because you can see the, I mean I could have gone over it more but that was not the point. The point was to more whitewash but I can tell you that this, the chipboard, sure fooled me. I kept thinking it was wood when I was trying to put this in here and I was trying to calculate in my head, is that going to be big enough to go through that wood? And then I'll be like, wait a minute, that's not wood, it's chipboard. A few seconds later, is that going to be, you know, those going to be deep enough to be able to go through that wood? Again, it's not wood, you bonehead. Anyway. Okay, so I'm in the heart, heart, heart the cover. I'm trying to get this back in here. And I'll have plenty of, usually I don't make these quite so loose. This time I tried something different. These are kind of pain, they're in the way, but they're sure pretty. Anyway, so here's the journal again. I just twist this because right now... I'll keep falling off. These papers match the inner backing and the same one that's on the spine on the inside. So, now that we have this cover that I'm just like, oh, over, I just love it. And that lace. <clears throat> okay, I guess you're not supposed to sit here and admire your work until 
the cows come home, but and since I don't have any cows, they're not coming home to this place. I do have chickens, though. I got the chickens up this morning. I fed them some cooked pasta and some, um, let's see, what else did I put out there? Brussels sprouts, you know, the stuff that you would normally toss. And then they're scratch. Hang on, let me put this paint back. Just gotta step around the corner. Get a couple more slips on my cough drop. Okay. So, it's cold in here. It, I have a heat on and it's 61, trying to warm up. Let's see what the temperature says outside. It's 32. I think it's supposed to be like 45 today. 42. Let me look. Let me look. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. I have a... Oh, here we go. It's supposed to be high of 46 today. So. <clears throat> About that. Alright, so what I did is this paper, I don't know what I did here. I really don't know what I was doing here. I, I was trying something and it just didn't work. Um, so I put a piece of paper back here, so it kind of covers that up a little bit. This is more for paper. This is part of the Janie B. Journal's Jane Austen kit that I had bought. Um, these came out of a Pride and Prejudice kit that I bought, and they're just papers like this, and I have no idea where I got it from. Actually, it might be Digital Fits. I'll check. Let's, let me let me write this down so I don't forget. Check. Digi Fits. P-N-P. -P. There we go. So I just... This is actually, let me get something out here. So this is actually a pocket. Keep this out here. I took, I have a, Emma, well, obviously you can probably see that. I hope you can see that. Okay. I'm just, just relax. Just relax, Laura, relax. <clears throat> okay, so let us... So Jane Austen, I took Victorian velvet sponge sugar, yeah, sponge sugar, and then the speckled egg, because unfortunately speckled egg is all I have for blues. I would love to get some more of those blues. Um, so here's a little tuck, and this for me is really difficult, um, the way she does her journals with, you know, the actual papers that don't match. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm hearing myself say it, I am. But anyway, it's difficult for me. So we have a pocket here. I forgot this one. So there's a nice deep pocket. And here's a pocket and a flip out writing spot. And then here's this pocket. Try and get in here. It's nice and big. And now I flip out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pardon me. Extra in journaling spot. Since I don't write in my journals, I mean I do have one that I'm writing in, but most times I don't write in them. I just don't. Um, this was difficult for me. This is difficult to have all this much blank writing spot. But and here's I've got some um, that I'm going to do here. Uh, I did it in a autumn journal that I sold, and I think I have a flip through on my channel. So this one, all I did was take vellum, run it through my uh, embosser, and a you know one of those envelopes, you know, and you the big shot, and my words are failing, and I'm I just read the weather and. I'm, sweating to death. Of course, I got my Jawa robe on. Jawa robe is what I call it. I got it from Costco. It's it's just a big 
basically shapeless, warm, fuzzy thing with a hood and a pocket in the front. And, you know, it's like small, medium, large, extra large, that kind of thing. So this one, I'm only 5'2". This thing comes down to mid-thigh. Or, not mid-thigh. Mid-calf. <clears throat> but anyway, I love it. I love it. It's, it's really it's the warmest thing I own that's not a coat. I don't have any sweatshirts anymore. Anyway. So then I went over with the Victorian velvet and just kind of brushed. Whatever those are called. If there's a name for them. And then I used some glued it on there and used a little bit of washi just to finish it. So, you can see, I'm trying really hard to leave lots of journaling spots. Oh my gosh! Hey, you probably can't see me, but I'm rocking back and forth. See, I'm rocking back and forth. Ugh. Blank pages. Oh my gosh. Blank junk envelopes. Oh my gosh. Oh my god! Yeah, so here, I put the pocket in on the side. Fulja. Flip out writing spot. Cut this, because the Hiawatha. But... It might need, these things might not be um, up for my level of abuse. Let's just call it abuse. I'm going to use these pretty, I'm using my pretty tags that I made. So, here's a tag here, which it won't fit, but there's a tag there, tag spot. And look, here's a nice giant tuck spot. So you've got tag. And a tuck spot. You got a pocket and a tuck spot. That's what I mean to say. If I'm not saying it right, you just fill in the words. Please. Um, notes to myself. No note to myself. Decorative washi for no other reason than a needed decorative washi. And, you know, you know how it goes. So here is... Oh, yeah. So here we have a super, super, super surprise. I don't think this will fit, but let's try it again. We've got a tag here with some more that, um, Emma. <laughs> I'm, all I see is the O.N. Churchill, and I'm thinking Winston Churchill and wondering why is, why is Jane Austen talking about Winston Churchill when he wasn't even born for like oh, over 200 years? <laughs> yeah, anyway. So it flips down. Oh my gosh. Are you all seeing this? It flips down. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. Now, this is like the bomb. Here's a back pocket. And this one's a little tricky because there is... Did I do it this one? No, I did not. This one, I did not put a pocket in here. I'm on camera and I'm like, oh, but here's a pocket. Pocket. Pocket that flips down and here's your writing spot with a little pocket here. And I did not make that one in inner pocket. Sorry, I have before. That's why I was double checking. Now here is what this goes into. And these, this one and a couple of other ones. I got, I think, this one was from Angela Kerr. Her, um, let's see, uh, I'm writing it down. Templates. One of her templates, and I will put that on there. Excuse my sniffs. So there's that. And just lace. Just decorative. Here's some more for paper that I used another one of G or Angela Kerr's templates. Um, she has a couple, uh, two or three kits of templates of you can pockets, envelopes. Excuse me, I had to turn off the fan. Now, I have to confess something. I'm pretty heavy handed. Excuse me, I need to blow my nose again. Sorry about that. Anyway, um,. <clears throat> She had these stapled in, and they were, um, oops, hang on, there, I needed to undo some, you know how you pause, or silent things, anyway, um, as you can see here, it's, it's coming out again, so I'm gonna have to do what I did, my fix that I did here, which is why none of these open all the way, because I had to put double-sided tape to keep them in the staples. 
because her lovely journals are just not up to the task of me constantly adding and messing and putting things on top of it. So these are all, I had to double side tape to get these to, <clears throat> to be able to, so here is another junk mail envelope. These are DSHS envelopes, if anybody wants to know, and I keep these like, oh, they're gold, because you can do so much with them. All right, let me get this out. So, this is, ooh, ooh so sorry, I had to put that down. Bera, B-E-R-A-C, ink, her, um, marbled papers. I will try to link it. I'm not very good at the actual um, itemized Etsy links just because they're so incredibly long and I'm, I'm like unsure of if that's how they're supposed to be. I mean, I know the link thing, but it seems to me when I look at other people's YouTube channels in their description box for links to Etsy stores or specific items, they're not this ginormously long supercalifragilisticexpialidocious 15 times run together links. Anyway, that's what they seem like. There it is. So, big junk mail envelope, double-sided tape in. You got a pocket here. Isn't that pretty? I think that turned out well. I like it. Other than this, I gotta fix that. And then here's the back side. This double-sided tape is just not... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll figure it out. So there you go. I There's a story behind this. I'm going to grab it real quick if I can. Because I looked at this, you know, when I sent her stuff. Let's see if I can get this out without causing it. And which. But, and we were talking, her and I were talking, I was asking her where she got her, all her lovely books. Where do you get those wondrous toys? I was going to send her uh, pages out of a book that I got from Goodwill. Now, I don't recommend Goodwill for getting books, at least not here in Washington, where I went, because they're not cheap. It's, yeah, it's cheaper to buy books at the Buck 25 store. They may not be what you want, but hey. And this is the book that I picked up from the Goodwill. Now, I've torn several pages out of it. And I have the uh, cover somewhere. But it is a 19... Up through 19... It might be 56 to 64, something like that. But it's a whole automotive repair book. And so I, I found it a little bit humorous when I started looking through this. And look, there's more. I like the coffee pod. So here's <clears throat> yet another... Envelope. I'm trying to remember what I did with them all. So, pocket. Now, what I did is I made my cover oversized purposely so that things weren't sticking all over, you know. So, when you look at it, and because the spine is detached, it lays completely flat. So, what was my point? I totally blanked there. Um, anyway. So, yeah, so when you look at it, see how much room we still have. And this is why I did it that way. I purposely tried to make it as oversized as I could. And is, so I've gone through that. That's a tuck. I'm trying to find, where are we? Got the flip down. I just love that. Okay. Our coffee died. There we go. Through the middle. On to this side. Now this, you wonder why it takes me so long, Mitzi, and why I was saying, oh my gosh, I can't do it all on camera, because I do stuff like this. I do ship, excuse me. I do stuff like this, where I stamped, here are my book stamps, here's some flowers, and then I go through with my, my, uh, gel glitter pens. Some of them aren't glitter, but I like the glittery. And then I color it all in. Yeah. But, anyway. 
I really like this. I really like... I, one thing that I love about this challenge, and I really highly, highly encourage anyone to do it because it makes you think outside the box, especially if you're like Mitzi and I, where our styles are so different. We're just different. Um, anyway, so I just, I love the washi tape. Now this was the book ones that I showed on um, Candace's um, Facebook group, Journal Me Crazy by Candace Johnson. Um, anyway, I showed it on there. I found this, you know, from Amazon, and I'm planning on using it in the lovely old books from Victoria Designs. But, hey, lends itself perfectly to Jane Austen, because after all, it is about books. And here's one of the belly bands from that she sent me, and this kit, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I am thinking about purchasing it myself. Anyway, this came from that. And this is more of my Pride and Prejudice. Now, these are full-size 8.5 by 11. Um, images. And you just shrink them down. Right? And so and then I try to lightly stencil. That's what I'm looking for. Stencil. <laughs> okay. It is Monday morning. I meant to, I wanted to get a bunch of videos ready to go out today and that just didn't happen. Um, I don't know how y'all do this, especially if you have a full-time job, because I do not. And I still find this difficult to keep up on the housework, keep up with my first... I do have a on-call job, part-time, as a living caregiver. And he's very easy, for the most part. He's, he's a breeze. Not that big a deal. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, but to keep up on the housework... I got chickens, I got a dog, which I know, I don't have kids. I mean, my kid is grown and gone. But, even with what I consider as little as I have to do, this is filming and, and coming up with an idea and making time to do this, and then you got to do the editing. and the, So it takes a lot longer, and I meant to get more out, but I just was not feeling well. So, again, I took this, put it over here. Instead of using a journal spot for it, I chose a pocket, because I love my pockets. I just got a pocket. You know who does really good pockets, and I've already mentioned her before? And she does excellent. If you want to know what to do with a, a junk envelope, any kind of envelope, Angela Kerr. I have found her to be one of the best people for this kind of thing. Alright, so there I am. Got the pocket. Here is another tuck, as you can tell. There, it goes in here. And, ta-da! Now, I numbered, why is this here, you ask? This is one of the things I got from AliExpress. Let me see if I can get it to come in. I don't know if that's going to show up. I hope it shows up, but anyway. I numbered all these so I knew how many envelopes I had in each. Um... Like Mitzi was saying in one of her videos earlier, a couple of videos back, where, um, oh, good gosh, I, I just lost it. It's, it's not that early, it's 7.44 this morning, but it's Monday, and even though I don't work, I didn't get nearly enough sleep. Why? Well, I went to bed at 9.30 last night, but... Woke up at 11.30 because, you know, I'm drinking a lot of tea, so. Okay, so here's a pocket here. Oh, so I numbered them. And funny thing is, once you coffee dye, they don't erase. I mean, I coffee dyed and then wrote it on there, and it still, I could not get the numbers erased. So that's why that's there, because I couldn't get the number six off of it. Anyway, sorry, and if I'm making mouth noises, it's, it's the cough drop. So this is another thing. I took one of her papers and just folded it. I've got a pocket here. Now this is pretty thin. And and Mitzi, I really want to ask you, and I probably will, so you won't have to actually answer this. Actually, it's stuck. 
here's a pocket nice neat pocket with a flip open writing spot again the Emma I only have Emma in print so I have I think I have uh, all of her um, novels but I have them on my Kindle uh, digital form so here is a side let me turn you right side up I really like these so here's a side tuck and since I did it on this vintage book page I ended up gluing more book page on it to stabilize this edge so we're yeah, gonna see a little bit of that sorry I'm for my crunching so here's another envelope excuse my <clears throat> which oops I did it again so it's a flip open writing spot this is where I got confused it has a tuck in the back and there's a pocket come on there's a pocket here that goes all the way across didn't realize I didn't glue that didn't think about gluing that but anyway so this is a double pocket pocket and then this huge long secret if you want it to be because really if you look at it it looks like oops need to re-glue um you got it there one thing I've noticed is art glitter white glue I'll just call it white I think it's called PVC glue I don't know that's PVC pipe I, I just don't know anyway um you know what and when I put this on it looks straight see when you close it it looks straight when you open it it doesn't look straight envelopes what can I say and my OCD does not like this at all it doesn't like things that aren't even flush, square, plumb, all that kind of good stuff. And boy, howdy. The house I live in. So on the back page, yay, yet another flip down. And this one was a window envelope. And I meant to make it all, you know, crunchy sounding, whatever you call it. But I wasn't thinking and I glued, I put glue, uh, stick glue all over the back of this paper. <clears throat> this rose and boy it smells good is brought to you by this alchem art alchemy metallic wax in sweet rose because I was looking for that dread R and B before I knew any better Candace R and B in uh, rose gold metallic rose gold because I am a rose gold fiend this was as close as I could find in the R and B and it is a wax, so it likes to rub off. But it smells really good. It smells nice and sweet. This one, I did not make a pocket out of this. I just made a journal spot. Tuck spot with one tuck that I need to glue. Because it could... Yeah. I guess I didn't... No, I did. Okay. And this is not... It is. I did it, I did it. So, oh, see, this does go down because I didn't glue the inside of the pocket. So, I suppose if you really, really wanted to, you could hide something all the way down there. But how are you ever going to get it out? I don't know. So, this is the first signature. And we will do pretty much the same in the other one. And I have a lot more I want to do with this. Do you think I'm done? No, I'm not. Um, I'm trying to hurry up and get the inner working so then I can work on the decorations because that takes the longest. So this video is 34 minutes. I am going to call it a wrap for now on this one. Again, I, I apologize um, if you were hoping to see some of this off screen or on screen. Um, what I will do is pretty much the same thing. As you see, I've got my pockets laid out pretty much where I want them to go, numbered. Um, and so we will do the pockets on this one, the envelopes on this one together. Uh, but for right now, I wanted to craft. I was never going to get it done if I just didn't do it. If I waited until to do it all on camera, I would never get it done. Because, you know, I sounded really... <laughs> I didn't sound very good there for a little bit. But I am mo better now. I tell you... I, this year has been just off the chain for 
different sicknesses, illnesses, you know, flu, COVID, RSV. Um, anyway, so enough of that. Again, go through my spiel. If you liked what you've seen, please give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. It will be at the end of the video, all across the screen, because, you know, and, um, tell your friends. Uh, come back and join for more of this hashtag, I hit a wall journal swap between Misty and... Miss, Misty, I am so sorry. I don't know what's wrong with my brain this morning. It's just not words, you know, names. Between Mitzi at 307 Junk Journals and Laura B at Craft and See with Laura B, please join in. This is probably one of the, mo the most fun I've had with junk journaling. I wouldn't say so far, but it is a lot of fun. Um, this is my first collab, so nervous, nerve-sided, and, um, anyway, please join in, um, put it on Instagram, I do have an Instagram channel, I'm going to change the name, so it will be Laura B, or Craft and See with Laura B, it'll be something along that lines, and I will end up linking it, and so, here's the deal, if you want to participate, I, we highly encourage you to do so, please, post it on Facebook, Post on Instagram, post on any other Pinterest, anything with a hashtag. I hit a wall journal swap. So anything you have that you've worked and worked and worked on and you're just, you're done. You, you've hit that wall. You just can't do anything about it. You hide it in the corner because you can't stand seeing it anymore because it, it filled with guilt that you haven't finished it. If you're anything like me, I've got to do that and i wasted all those materials and, blah, 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 and everything you say. Anyway, this is a perfect chance to find someone, a friend, another creator. It doesn't have to be a YouTube creator, but just another journalist. And then you go in there, junk journalist, I should say. Not, you know, news journalist. And then um, swap. And then post your results on any of the social medias with the hashtag. And I will stop talking. Lots of love. Lots of kisses, I think she does. Lots of hugs. This is, this is, I'm copying Candace from Candace, uh, Journal Me Crazy by Candace Johnson, because she always goes, lots of loves, lots of kisses, hugs, and, anyway, yeah, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, it's cute. It's so cute. I love it. Anyway, talk to you later. Peace out. Bye.